at NTV. A very good morning. We're glad you're still with us here on Morning at NTV. Let's now go into our very last discussion of the show today. The role of political parties, well, in our current dispensation as a country. I'll just give you a preamble to the discussion. Joseph Kableta, one of the 11 presidential candidates who participated in the January 2021 general election, unveiled a new party. It's called National Economic Empowerment Dialogue need as in n e e d the party was first registered on 7th october 2005 under the people's united movement party or pom kabaleta says he joined pom party two years ago before the presidential election but chose to run as an independent for reasons he didn't reveal the man is here good morning good morning you keep on vacillating mm. and the latest reincarnation is mm. need what is the need for all this? Um, uh, this what's the need for, for the party? For the, uh, because the <laughs> need has been around for Ongoing yeah. transformation from one dispensation to another, and then you seem to be evolving, then going back into a cocoon, and then... No, we are, we are, put, we are doing something. We are heading somewhere. Mm. And there is, um, there is an intention yeah. that uh, we are trying to push for. Now, um, the reasons we I stood as an independent, in spite of the fact that there was this happening before, is that... Um, um, the party wasn't yet ready to have me as president because uh, I was I was a relative unknown in political terms. Oh, you were bigger than the party? Uh, no, not at that time. Okay, okay. May, maybe the party has been, you know, uh, you know but uh, um, I was a bit, you know, new in the field. Right. So they were not yet ready to have me as that. Then when I stood as presidential uh, candidate on an independent ticket, mm -hmm. and went on pushing on, and you know, um, uh, uh, had need about a year ago at the end of September of 2021, mm -hmm. and uh, moved around the country, popularized our national economic empowerment uh, dialogue and the message of, right. um, of you know, economic empowerment, mm -hmm. financial liberation, um, and, you know, basically telling people about our resources, um, uh, what we have as a country, how it can make our lives better, and um, uh, how that is unlikely to happen mm -hmm. uh, in this dispensation, because there's been a lot of um, already exploitation of resources in this dispensation which has not benefited the people oh, uh, of those localities where those resources are. Mm. So when we um, moved around then finally they were ready to you know uh, let me take on the helm of the party. All right uh, there is a background to it yes. the People's United Party mm. or movement mm. which is BOM mm. it has its uh, set of leaders. Yes. Now in Uganda's recent history, mm. uh, let's be very specific, in the last three years, mm. we've seen a battle between those that mm. think were the originators of the NOOP idea mm. and those that came over and brought the people power movement or ideology into mm. the NOOP. Mm. Here we are, POM, and then mm. NEED. Mm. Aren't we going to see the latest uh, political so soap opera in terms of who is the leader of which party and who actually owns or rather is the leader in terms of ideology? No, there is absolutely no question about who is the leader because mm. there was um, uh, a delegates conference which elected me as leader. So there is okay. not going to be, uh, there was a delegates conference yesterday mm -hmm. before the unveiling of the new party which, um, uh, which uh, changed the constitution, mm. had some amendments to the constitution. That's right. We, um, uh, and, and made some amendments including changing the name of the party and uh, then uh, election of office bearers of which I was elected president. So there is absolutely, and there were, you know, delegates of the party. So there was, there is no, um, uh, you know, my election or my position is incontrovertible. Mm -hmm. It is there, and uh, nobody is going to stand up and say that um, I got it in any other way, any other way apart from the one prescribed in the constitution of that party. If I gave the electoral commission a call mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. and asked that question, mm -hmm. that what? Do you know the National Economic Empowerment Dialogue Party and are you ready to accept it if it, the leaders avail themselves for political uh, positions in terms of election? What it's, do you think they would say? It's not up to them to accept or not, not accept. There is a law that governs that. Mm. Um, the party has been registered. The party has fulfilled all the conditions, uh, including uh, uh, giving annual returns mm. all the way up to now. So it is it, uh, the, the original party mm -hmm. that was uh, the People's United Movement. So they, are, they have been a, a political party for 17 years. Now, they have a right, the delegates of that party have a right to make changes 
whatever changes they deem fit to their party. Electoral Commission is simply notified. Nobody asks their permission. We do not need their permission to do anything. Mm. The delegates conference are the ones who are in charge of the running of the party, and they can make, uh, they can change the constitution, they can change the leadership, they can change the party uh, colors, slogan, and so on. Uh, and they only have to notify. Mm. The only place where there would be a bit of controversy is perhaps if we chose colors which are used by other parties. Used by other parties. But these are colors that have already been used. The colors that we chose that you see me putting on here, white and black. Wait a minute. Those yeah. are your party colors? These are white now the and party. black. White and black, yeah. Is everything white and black in the party? Yes, it is. Clear. Clear cut. <laughs> that's why, we, that's why I, I, I decided to have black and white. So okay. we tell everything in black and white. So mm. uh, unless it was clashing with any other, mm. then there there would be a bit of a problem. But then right. these are the colors that have been for the People's United Movement mm. for all those years. So um, uh, there can't be an issue with that. So even if you call the Electoral Commission, mm -hmm. um, uh, they would have nothing to say because we are all moving within the, you know, um, uh, what the, the law stipulates. Yeah, you'll always be surprised who has the powers at any one point in time, mm. especially in Uganda's uh, political space. But mm. let's leave that at that and focus on the wordplay. National mm. Economic Empowerment Dialogue. Mm. I'd like to concentrate on empowerment mm. and dialogue. You've always spoken about the need for us to engage at all levels, mm. political, social, and economic, mm. to be able to take the nation forward. Mm. And somewhere, somehow, it either hasn't worked or hasn't gone as you want it to. What is the new strategy? No, it has gone as we wanted it to. Mm. I mean, we've been around there for one year, talking about National Economic Empowerment Dialogue. Mm -hmm. And uh, one year is a short time in politics. But I believe if I was to take stock, we've achieved a lot in that one year. Mm. Um, um, in regard to what I think and what we set out to achieve, we've achieved a lot. Now, after the year, now we've moved to a political party. Mm. Now we have another year, perhaps, um, uh, to ac accomplish certain things now as a party, which we could not accomplish as, um, as just a political movement. So, uh, but we've raised the question of economic awareness mm. and um, people having an interest in the resources that exist in their country. That's right. Because I can tell you that they are now, I mean, just conversations that people are having, mm -hmm. which they never had before. Because uh, we are in a country where we can export in excess of um, a billion dollars worth of gold mm -hmm. every year, as we've been doing perhaps for the last three years. And it's not even reflected in the, in, uh, in the national budget as an income. Because it's at the side, mm -hmm. somebody's personal income. So it's not even reflected in, in the national budget. So when you read the budget, you're not going to see anywhere where there were minerals which were exported and the country um, earned this and money. The money from gold. Now, how, how, how is that even possible? That has been the case. But now I'm telling you, it's going to be very difficult, mm -hmm. very difficult with the movement, I mean, uh, with, with, the, with, the, with the push that we are doing now to make national resources national, for there to be another budget hereafter that does not mention Uganda's mineral resources. Actually, as far as I'm concerned, one even the, um, uh, the donor countries raised the same issue and said, how come Uganda is exporting all these minerals and, um, and, and other things, but it's not reflected in the budget? And that was a concern for them, but it's a concern that has been raised by us and now that concern has also been raised by the people in the localities where those resources are being taken up. Mm. Um, uh, for instance, you go to places, I'll, I'll give you an example like Busia, where recently, um, uh, uh, this year, the beginning of this year, they launched a, a gold mine, which is supposed to be one of the biggest in Africa. Mm. And um, by 2023, next year, it's going to be producing 1,000 kilos of gold a day. A, a thousand day. a day. Kilo. Yes, that's about 50, I mean 55 and 60 million dollars worth of gold a day. Mm. But the poverty that is within that locality, now when that was raised and it was put on the pedestal, and the people in that place get an awareness, because the gold is mined, some, somebody is here digging potatoes uh, amidst poverty and the gold is being mined somewhere there, and they do not know what they have. Now, people start making agitations mm. for a slice of what is taken out of their localities and that's our, the first step mm -hmm. and that's a big step because our purpose is to empower people because what has been it has been handouts you know uh, somebody comes takes all that gold you don't nothing is even said about it mm -hmm. then they come and give you parish model and so on a few uh, millions per parish and that's supposed to placate you and make you happy now what empowerment does is we do not appeal to uh, people's need 
excuse the pun, mm. uh, we, we appeal to their abilities. And their abilities, first of all, to claim what is rightfully theirs. You cannot come in my locality and take out all that wealth and go away and live with, without even a proper road. Nothing, not even a road, no f form of, you know, um, um, uh, amenities for the people in the area, no hospitals, no school, like absolute poverty. Everything remains as is, except 1,000 kilos of gold are being taken from that place every day. Mm -hmm. Now that is unique. Now that's what we are supposed to awaken okay. people to. Yeah. Uh, let's also speak about the political dialogue. Right now we see so many uh, political parties mm. appearing not to actually be steering towards in a one direction and simply perhaps waiting for 2026 mm. to say here we come again mm. we are giving it a shot at uh, a presidency mm. the national unity platform is led by a very versatile young man and uh, i would say you are more or less within the same age bracket not at all and 10 years old it doesn't matter mm. as long as mm. you are all young mm. no doubt about that mm. isn't it about time that leaders like you and the political parties that you form mm. sat down and dialogued effectively and constructively for the future of this country, other than uh, seeking to be different vehicles towards this one destination? Um, parties, by, uh, by, by definition, are supposed to be different vehicles. Mm. And all of them are supposed to be pushing Is that what things. we need right now? That's what we need right now. What, what we need right now is a proper democracy mm. where everybody comes and sells their ideas to the, uh, to the electorate, and uh, whoever the electorate chooses. The electorate it grapples takes with who? Yeah, with whoever. Because uh, when I'm making a sale, mm. um, let's say if I was a salesperson and I'm pitching a sale, I'm not going to go and dialogue with somebody who is trying to sell right, the yeah. same company a similar product. Okay. I have absolutely no interest in them. Um, I have an interest in what I am selling. Now, this is exactly the same. We are right. selling an agenda to the electorate. Now, what other people are selling, um, uh, let, let them sell it. Let, ultimately, the electorate will decide what they are buying. Mm -hmm. Now, the dialogue has always been about um, uh, creating favorable electoral space. Mm -hmm. um, the, the dialogue that has been, for instance, uh, previously iPod and so on, That's right. which has not manifested anything. It's just been about NRM stamping the authority on everybody and so on. So um, uh, we'll push our line. Okay. Mm. Uh, Joseph Kableta, many thanks for joining us and mm. uh, for that uh, uh, pinpoint mm. and very quick mm. uh, insight and perspective on uh, the National Economic Empowerment Dialogue. That will do it for this discussion and indeed morning at TV this Tuesday. On behalf of my colleague Priscilla Regina Naloga and of course the team behind the scenes that ensures that we come on air and give you these discussions as and when you need them. Good work. Have yourselves a lovely day. <laughs>